use yeah. your other extenders as starters. Exactly. It still <laughs> works out, right? It's not like you lose the entire game plan. You just have to adjust the beginning of the game plan. Right. And everything works out just fine. Of course, starting against the Buzz is a little bit harder because, <laughs> I mean, especially on Battlefield, his Rosalina is known to, and we saw it at Momocon, known to shut people down sometimes. <laughs> We already see a lot of these big pressure situations coming out. It just gets like that dash tag cancel into the nair, into the side B, holding a half a stage. But Guy Guy finds his way back in. The positioning from Guy Guy there was wild because he was managed to skirt just over Luma and got between them both before Luma could uh, come back and get a hitbox out. Of course, it's hard to get um, past, but you have that instant, uh, that frame one invulnerable down the the uh, green tornado, I think, or the Luigi tornado, one of those yeah. two, to, to get out of there and to get out of dam dangerous situations. But this game is still very even regardless. Yeah, it can be really scary for a character that's super floaty too, right? Because if you commit to that double jump to try and chase Luigi, it's going to be really hard to find your way back down. Whoa, massive F smash there. The buzz recognizing the exact moment Guy Guy was going to look for the lunge. Just holding so much pressure and making so much use of it. Guy Guy does find that down throw a little bit unfortunate. DI, the buzz probably thinking he was going to end up on the right hand side. But he gets a grab, trying to make the most out of a slight lead as he can, playing the dash back game. Gotta be careful with throwing Luma out. I mean, it's, it is incredibly... Oh. oh, hello! Almost found the full route there. That was looking dirty from the buzz. Guy Guy finds a way out there with that down B. He was able to recollect Luma mid-combo in order to find that anti-air up smash. That was so good from the buzz, but... Guy Guy is still hunting for some of these rising aerials, still trying to make the floaty, as you as you mentioned, the floaty character in Rosalina feel bad and getting juggled and just, again, not finding any major openings. The Buzz very, very calm in his block. Honestly, I love the way Guy Guy plays Disadvantage. I feel like every Luigi player, I see that down B nine times out of 10, and the mix is, oh, it's one of the other options, and it wasn't down B this time. Guy Guy actually like consistently mixing things up here. Um, unfortunately, does end up getting put off the map. Finds that up tilt through the bottom of the platform. Rose is just so tall. This seven foot woman, you gotta you gotta be careful with that height. Luma is gone though, but the buzz trying to play a little bit slow, but challenges with the four there. Does it again? The patience from the buzz in, upon getting hit. Like he's not trying to let Guy Guy extend at all. Or to after four to almost dying to that up smash, but wow. Battlefield Blast Zone is going to be saving him there. Yeah, also didn't hit Luma fast enough, so the Buzz was actually able to get a hitbox out in time and protect. Oh, poor Luma. Yeah. <laughs> he deserved it, but poor Luma. <laughs> <laughs> Not finding these down tilt two frames, unfortunately. Guy Guy, oh, hits the tech, looking for the pressure. The Buzz able to recover for free. Only 38% of extra credit, though, and I, we know Luigi. <laughs> yeah, is getting a little dicey. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta close out this stock early. Of course, Luigi combos do change dramatically with a little bit of rage. Yep. Oh, looking for four tilt instead of trying to overcommit to the back air. Going off stage might be a death sentence, but every single chip that doesn't kill the buzz is just another 10%. Wow. Yet the back throw kills. That move has like unique scaling with rage that happens between stocks. And it's never been patched. Not a lot of people know that exists. If Luigi back throws you one stock to three stocks, you're getting deleted. Your character will simply Why cease did, to exist. So Luigi has aura, but for back throw exclusively. Only back throw. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're a Lucario player, so you can fully appreciate that. Yeah, so. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. <laughs> oh, oh, that was dirty in the counter. Yeah. Oh, that was filthy. The retreating Luma back air. The, that puppet positioning from the buzz is so nasty the best Rosa in the world and also maybe the only one but actually that's not true Emerald yeah, not is in the building and they play Rosalina they play Rosalina very well but there's just something about the buzz's commitment to Luma placement Luma shot being so unbelievably quick and being able to call Luma back and still get a hitbox out that lunar landing is unbelievably strong oh yeah but we got we got game two here and I you know big fan of the counter picks coming out from uh, 
Ooh, coming out from Guy Guy because they routinely go to different stages and they routinely try stuff new. Uh, Hollow Bastion seems to be their common pick of choice because it's Smashville-esque without while still giving you plenty of survivability. And Luigi doesn't need much. Uh, doesn't need a huge blast zone to still kill you with upbeat. Exactly. It's going to be a little bit harder for Rosa to get things done on this map than it will Luigi. Whereas I think. Focusing on that stray hit game plan on Battlefield can be a little bit difficult because of the way Rosa commands space. Speaking of... That was a classic Smash 4 late down air right there. Yeah, the lingering spike hitbox that just covers so far below. It's going to be big damage. Doesn't actually find that much, but the down smash covers pretty much all the reset options. Yeah, and I am a little surprised that we didn't choose to see like a late nair, like full string. But hey, an up smash is an up smash, and he's still got 60 at the end of the day. Yep. So just by the nature of being in the lead, you're forcing Luigi into more awkward scenarios than he would be normally. Because the Luigi players, they like those fireballs. They like those rising fairs into falling zairs, commanding that mid-range. But now you're forcing Luigi to try and force their way into that mid-range instead, which is where Luma loves to mess Ooh. around with. <laughs> yeah, one of the hardest things for Luigi can be, I mean, the character has got some really scary things and being near Luigi is always terrifying, but if you really think about it, what zone breaker does Luigi have access to? A misfire of all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get, get the one in ten. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just one in ten of a neutral. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Game & Watch players could never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that was another late up air, uh, late nair into up air for the stock. Let's see if Guy Guy has something left in the, uh, something in the tank akin to their Stefan set when they were down and they managed to find a, uh, some massive conversion. But man, the buzz is shutting down a Guy Guy's approach options with just lingering hitboxes, uh, proper anti airs, and. Luma placement up the wazoo. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Very comfortable finish there. Yeah, yeah, the buzz's adjustment on the fly to Luigi's weight and fall speed for the consistency of combos and extensions. Even just that, like, the calm up throw. I know I have the full reset because you have the tech on this platform no right. matter what. And we're on Hollow Bastion, so you're <laughs> there isn't no there isn't a spot here where there isn't platform to tech. And just kind of slowing things down and finding these situations. Um that it feels like he kind of wasn't able to put together in the same capacity game one. Definitely one yeah. game one, but kind of one in a different fashion. Game two felt a lot more just those routes were clean, that advantage was clean. Uh, game one felt very like edge guard heavy almost. Yeah, he was uh, playing a lot more underneath a side platform. I feel like that's the diff a huge difference between the stages, like kind of developing a matchup like that. Battlefield, you're focusing more on the sides and on the corners. So yep. you saw the buzz duo for a lot more of these uh, of these two frame attempts. Meanwhile, with that center platform, as you're mentioning, like you're you're gonna tech on this platform, you're gonna take center stage. So I'll hunt for up airs and chains into verticality yes. instead of uh, horizontally. Yeah, worked out quite well. All right. Yeah. So, uh, so I think that's our winner side top eight set. So the four players being Sensei Zamba. Phone, please, into <laughs> Sensei Zamba, D Dog over Rivers, wow. and then to Buzz over Guy Guy. So D Dog continues to make Congrats waves. To D -Dog. And three New York, one New Jersey in the winner side top eight. But we still got loser side to start pecking through. But first, we got some ads. There it is. <laughs> That's the right one. As we welcome to the Collision Series crew and all of the events that we provide to you, the community, uh, available on YouTube as Collision Series, but also Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram as Collision Smash. 